Hello everybody, this is Grandpa Scott again, and today in our mini Snapseed tutorial lesson, we will talk about the transform feature. It may not be really sexy when you're taking pictures of kids and my grandkids or your grandkids, but if you get pictures of buildings, this is a magic tool. So let's go. Let's talk about the transform tool. Here you go is a building. That I took a picture of on a recent vacation to New Zealand and as you'll see this transform tool works great on building shots not so much on grandkids or children but the transform tool deals with perspective in your image so it's particularly useful when you have vertical or horizontal lines and you get that a lot with architectural shots or building shots and what happens here as you see this photo is the perspective is a little bit skewampus because the taller, the higher you go up in the building, the narrower the walls seem to get because the camera was tilted backwards so that the entire building would fit in the frame. Therefore, the perspective is a little bit messed up. So what we do, of course, is select our tool selector and choose of all these options transform, which is right here in the middle. And we come up with the transform screen. I'll touch the screen and slide up and down and there'll be three options you can see. One is perspective vertical, perspective horizontal, and rotation. Perspective vertical is what we'll deal with here because we've got some vertical problems with these walls. So it's now set on perspective vertical. As I slide right, I get a grid and you see the building tip seemingly backwards. Slide left and it tilts seemingly forward. So I'm going to slide it until those walls look pretty vertical. Using that grid to help me. Looks like uh, somewhere in there. And boom, I'm done. I could hit the check mark and save a copy here and be completely done with this tool because all this picture needed was a vertical adjustment. But let me show you the other adjustments. Perspective horizontal, as I slide right and left, you can see what it does. So if I had horizontal problems, I could fix those horizontal problems. So let me reset this back to zero. And the rotation finally, if I slide right and left, you'll see I can fix any horizontal issues with any rotation issues. So I'll get that back to approximately zero. Close enough. Again, a before picture, after picture, before and after. So I'm done. I hit the check mark. I hit save and save a copy. And there you go. Transform has done its magic on this picture. It's easy when you know how. It's easier when you do it a few times. And it's easiest after you've done it many times. So look at your building pictures. Anything with horizontal or vertical perspective problems. Transform tool is what you need.